Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, channel I Try Anything, so you don't have to. Today what we're going to take a look at is another watch from the Casio range, with this one being the Casio F108WH, and this has a module number of 3224. Now in this review what we're going to do is talk about the actual design of the watch, uh, talk about the materials that the watch is made out of, talk about some of the functions that this watch features, and also pop it on our wrist and say what it's like to wear. To kick things off, the actual Casio F108 is around is in quite the more affordable range of or low end range of the Casio lineup, uh, with this one being in the Casio Classic range. And this watch can be obtained for around the £15 mark on Amazon or the likes of Argos here in the UK. Now I've linked to the uh, Amazon version uh, or where you can get it from Amazon uh, in the uh, description box below. And also you can get this watch. It is available in a range of colours, uh, which I'll show here, and that would be a black and a gr with green highlights, a grey with orange highlights, which looks quite nice. Uh, the blue version, which I'm featuring here, and also like an like a an orangey red uh, with some grey highlights. So th there is one to suit every taste, and it, as I say, it is in their classic. Uh, I, I dare I say budget range, but you know this watch I have seen it for around the. Um, 15 pound mark and sometimes around the 10 pound mark so it is a very nice affordable watch and also what you may notice is that it does take its cues from the casio g-shock watches with it being the casio 5600 which i've just shown you a little image here and as you can see like some of the actual design cues that goes on within this watch you can see a, an inspiration from that watch now the other thing talking about the actual um way the watch looks it is very close to what would be the Casio W21H, which I again I'm showing you a uh, like a, an image of here. And as you can see between the two of them, um, you do notice is that other than obviously here there is a slight change in the case. It's very much it looks very similar to this watch. Now the only difference being um, that I've spotted really that the actual Casio 218H has a water resistance to 50 meters whereas this only has a water resistance or like a splash resistance that with that being the f108 and the casio w218 um, h is probably just slightly bigger in terms of the case and the sizes really and the one other thing to mention they do um they do have the same module number so they tend to have the same kind of functionality between the 108 and the 218H. So, you know, there is some functionality, there is some difference, but if you want something with a little bit more kind of water resistance, then probably go for the 218H. Now, just to look at the materials of what this uh, watch is made out of, it is like all kind of Casios in this range. Uh, it is a resin plastic with this one being quite a smooth nice feeling to it there's no real texture to it i mean obviously there's these little um parts that stick out here which i'd imagine would help grip to your wrist really uh, the strap retainer that i'd like to call it is a resin as well and also you do have a plastic buckle on the end of this part of the strap with the casio logo emblazoned on it and made in china and um also, as I say, it is got a nice feel to the strap. It doesn't feel cheap, really, considering how much this watch was purchased for. Um, now, this watch is new. It's not from eBay or anything like that. So as you can see, there's no real scratches to the case, which again is made out of plastic. Yeah, very much plastic. It's not like a resin feel like this has got, um, but it is made out of a plastic. And what I would say, especially with the dial window as well, which is an acrylic crystal, as it were, it will be prone to scratches. But again, you know, at this price point of about 10 to 15 pound, not so much a throwaway watch, but it is a watch that you would probably have less care and attention than you would do something that would probably cost 10 times that amount or a watch costing 50, 100, 200 pounds. So if you are looking for a watch that maybe you have less worries about if you're doing any gardening or anything like that, then it might be worth looking at this. But in terms of the actual acrylic glass, um, or acrylic crystal as it were, you can get a product called Polywatch, which does help alleviate any kind of scratches or micro abrasions to this surface of the actual dial window. So just bear that in mind really, and I'll link to it below. So looking around the back, as you can see, obviously with the actual um, module number and stuff like that, and it does say water resistance as it were, not, not no actual meterage or anything like that or bar. So it is, I would say splash resistant, but you, you got the usual Casio affair of the stainless steel um, or brushed stainless steel case back to it. 
obviously you've got the three metal pushes going on here and um, that's it really in terms of the design I mean obviously the actual display it does mirror the Casio W21H as well like it this seems to be like the slightly smaller brother of that watch or slightly less you know like smaller brother as you were and you know it is a very clear and you know very easy to read at a distance so you know if you have to if you have to, are after something that's quite legible to read then this might be the watch for you now in terms of sizes this watch you are talking about like a matte plastic case as i say um you are looking at about 42.6 millimeters in terms of sizing it is also just over slightly 10 millimeters in thickness and the blue resin strap i believe is around the 18 millimeter mark and as i say it does have an acrylic glass which uh crystal which is flat because i do sometimes get questions about whether the uh, the watches are flat or domed it is powered by a quartz movement which has a plus and minus 36 uh, sorry 30 second accuracy per month so you know for the price you are getting a very very accurate kind of watch really the battery life on these which is what it's powered what which powers the actual um module as it were it can last up to about seven years but obviously if you use a light and stuff like that and alarm and stuff like that then you know it will kind of lessen that uh length of time really so if it's if it's a watch that you want to use daily and you, you rarely use the light then you probably would get up to seven years out of this now talking about the light it does feature and i'll show you on a little little video clip here it does feature quite a nice orange led backlight to it which you know it's it's not too bad in the dark to be fair and as you can see even with the light going on here or with the kind of studio light that i've got going on here you know you can you can actually see it as i'm talking really which is really it's a really nice bright-ish light really and it will allow you to tell the time in the dark so that's a nice little feature about this watch now talking about the actual features and more the functionality of this watch it features 12 and 24 hour which is easily accessed by this little top left hand pusher here and also it has a auto calendar so once you've set the actual calendar in theory take into account any kind of leap years or february the 28th and stuff like that so far and forget really in terms of uh, calendars and stuff like that now moving on with the functionality um i will do like a how-to video about this watch in terms of how to use this watch or how to get you know set the time and stuff like that so i'm just going to skim over these sort of functions really in this video so you have the alarm which has a daily alarm the alarm will go off at the same time every day and it also features an hourly time signal which means it'll allow you to um once set or once activated it will go off on the hour every hour so it'll beep on them you know every time an hour changes so it's not a bad simple alarm really it's just well, for what you get for the money it's well worth considering really stopwatch again simple start stop if i just press the right button so obviously it, it features a stopwatch that goes up to 60 minutes which is uh, handy for any kind of time in food cooking and stuff like that and then um it also features split times as well and also it allow you to do first and second time finishes as well which i'll show you in the tutorial video how to do it's a nice little feature to this watch and if i just clear that off and finally obviously you've got timekeeping mode now what that will allow you to do is to adjust the time the date uh, the date sorry and the day and it's as easy as that and again i'll show you in the video plus there is instructions below how to set this watch so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it on my wrist and say it's like to wear. So on the wrist, as you can see, it is a it is a, a nice watch really, it's considering the price point that this watch is at. And if this colour isn't for you, you can also get, as I said, you can get the, the black and green highlighted version, the grey and orange highlighted version and the red. So if you want something that really stands out, you get the red. And obviously if you want something a little bit more muted, you go for the, the black and grey version. But the blues, it's... I mean, it's probably not to everyone's taste, but if you want a watch that doesn't shout, but stands out from the normal slew of watches that people tend to wear, then this might be the watch for you. And as I say, at the price point of about 10, 15 pound, depending on the, any offers or anything like that, then I, I can't say, I can't stress enough, then this might be the watch for you. Um, now, in terms of how it looks on the wrist and stuff like that, I, I do like it. And also, sometimes I also mention these kind of peaks and troughs that these Casio features on these bands to try and help it grip on the wrist it doesn't it doesn't 
you, you can't feel it really. I mean, only a little bit, but it's not pinching like some of the other watches I've reviewed on this channel. But it doesn't hinder my hand movement or anything like that by any stretch of the imagination. And in terms of how it looks and how it feels, it is a real nice watch to stand out on your wrist. Now, if you are looking, uh, if you are looking for watches in this price point, then obviously you do have the F91W to consider. Uh, probably a little bit cheaper than this watch and how it's featured. So if you are after something that's probably a little bit more iconic, then this watch might be for you as opposed to this watch. But again, you know, you are getting a little bit more watch for your money. And the other one to consider as well, maybe in the same price point, is the W, I'll just double check, is the W86. Now the difference with this one, obviously, is just very slightly bigger than the F91W. Obviously you get more water resistance with this watch, but also um, you also get that lovely electroluminescence display, um, which is you know nice in the darkness. But again, as, I, as I've mentioned, you are looking at a nice, it does have a nice backlight to this, which helps you easily read uh, the time and the date and stuff like that. So in terms of um, should you buy this watch, I, I would consider it. I mean, it's, it's great for, you know, something that stands out on your wrist and maybe a, a talking point with other people and other watch kind of aficionados. It is a, it is a like a, an affordable classic watch from Casio. Hence why, you know, obviously wasn't won't have the water resistance of some of the other watches like the W218 that I've mentioned earlier. But if it's something that you want to wear daily on your wrist and you're not, not doing anything near water as it were, and you you know you're not going to wear it in the shower and you know swimming and stuff like that. Then this might be the watch for you, and especially in the colours that you can get this watch in for the ten fifteen pound. Then you know this would I would recommend this watch to add to your collection or even a watch to wear daily. So I hope you like the review, and if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Always helps. If you want to see more videos and especially a tutorial on this watch, then click on the subscription button below. And thank you for watching this video, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.